Welcome back to part 2 of my RAW video tutorial. In part 1 I showed you how to record RAW video via Magic Lantern. If you now insert your SD card to your computer you will find files like these which you probably won't be able to open. What you now need is a software called the Magic Lantern RAW video converter. It's for free, the download link is in the description. Go to the section Input MOVs and choose the folder where your recorded RAW video files can be found. In my case it's my SD card. Now you have a list of all the files, each of them can be identified by the thumbnail below. Select those you want to use. Then go to Output DNGs and select the folder where you want your converted files to be saved in and click Convert. This will take some time. Now your files get converted into single DNG files, each frame of the video you recorded into one file. When the conversion is finished, go into Adobe After Effects. Right click in the project section and choose Import File. Then go to the folder where your converted DNGs are and select them all. If you enabled audio recording via MLV sound, there is also a WAV file in the folder. Do not select it as well or the following won't work. Before you import the files, enable Camera Raw Sequence. Now your DNGs will be imported as a sequence into After Effects. But before this happens, the first frame will open up in Adobe Camera Raw where you can edit it. This is what you normally do with raw pictures and basically we are having a sequence of raw pictures here. So the edits you do on the first frame will be copied to all other pictures in the sequence. And that's the great thing about raw video. You can reveal hidden details and change everything without having any losses, just like with a raw photo. When you're happy with your edit, click OK and the sequence will be imported. Choose all sequences you want to use and click File, Export, Act to Render Queue. Before you render them, I recommend you to scale them up to 2K. This helps you to reduce aliasing, which can be a big problem when it comes to raw video. Then choose the folder where you want your files to be saved in and click render. Wait till the process is done and you have beautiful AVI raw video files, which you can now use in any video editing software, just like the audio which can be found in a DNG folder in case you recorded it. Thanks for watching.